In the last lesson, we set up this sidebar for all the individual blog posts, and it'll actually snap up here. What I want to do is now create a little section here that will show related blog posts. Now, in this case, the only thing we can relate is that it has the exact same category here. So that's what we're going to be comparing. And why don't you try to do this yourself? If you followed me this far, you've got all the tools you need to recreate something like this. So let's start kind of in two different stages. First of all, in the blog post layout, which is where each markdown file will basically be passed, what we want to do is get any related posts from the current uh, post. And remember, you're going to get in the front matter, the title, the description, the date, the category, the author, the image, all that kind of stuff. So I want you to see if you can get an array of all the different posts that would match that criteria. Now, there's two things you need to pay attention to. It needs to share the same category, and it cannot have the same title. Now, since we haven't passed in custom URLs or anything like that, the URL is based off of the title, so no two posts should share the same title. And we don't want the current post to show related posts as its own, as its own post on the bottom of its own page. So you want to filter that one out and make sure that every other one that shows is just related to that category. All right, do your best and be right back with me. All right, we've done this pattern several times before, so I'm going to actually go ahead and come over here and just steal all this from the index page. Uh, this would be under the, the main layout, uh, just the, our main index. I need to actually go up a level, then into pages, and then into blog, and that should get me in the right place. I don't have this format blog post yet, so I need to come over here and grab this as well. We'll call this something like uh, Util Imports. Now in this case, I'm just going to leave it like this for now. I think that'll work. And then let's just call it like related posts. And I now need to filter through all of that for those two conditions. So formatted uh, posts dot filter. We'll just call the post as it comes through this filter. And I want to check two conditions. One, that the post dot front matter dot category equals the category. Now this category itself I'm getting on the actual page, which means I probably also need to move this up. So I'll move this up above it. So this category here should be the same as right here. What I'm checking is if all the other posts that I'm looping through have the same category. That's the first condition. I can add another condition. Now if I use a logical and here, then it's going to say both of these have to be true. And that is that the post.frontmatter.title does not equal the title that I passed in. Now once again, this is this individual post that's being evaluated. Now if I go ahead and save that, I should actually have something I can console log just so we can see what we've got. So if I console log this and open this up, you'll see I've got zero related posts. Now what am I on? A reference doc. So that's not true because I have two. Well, hopefully you had better luck than I did. So let's see what I did wrong. All right, so I'm not seeing anything offhand. So why don't we just kind of work it backwards? So I'm going to get rid of this and we'll see if I'm getting anything back in my formatted posts. So formatted posts like this, I'll open this up. So I am getting something here, which means the problem is in my loop right here. I think the problem actually is that I'm limiting the number of posts coming in. So it must be that the other one is earlier on. So if I comment this out, let's see if that works. Yeah, so there we go. I'm actually getting a couple of posts now. All right, so that's what I wanted. Let me go ahead and close down this console log. And then the other thing I want to do is I do actually want an option here because I don't want to sort by date. I just want to randomize this. So sort by date, I'm going to actually set to false. So that way you get a random uh, like order of these posts back and I can randomly display several. Now, I don't want to display every possible post. Right now, I've only got, obviously, like one or two in each category, but eventually I'd want to slice this. So let's say slice like zero and three. And I'm doing it here after I've gotten back the related post so that I don't chop off stuff like I did earlier accidentally. Now I need to pass these related posts to a new component we're going to write called related posts. All right, let's come over this way. I'm going to open this up. And inside the components here, we're going to call this related post.astro. Up top here, I'm going to pull on a couple things. So we'll do uh, slugify and then also format date because we're going to have both of those showing both the date and then the URLs that we need to point to. And this will be from a relative path JS uh, utils. The other thing I know I'm going to get is my related posts. So whatever related posts I get, and in this case, I'm just going to pass the whole array of them to this thing and let this map through them. This will be from my astro.props. I'm going to go ahead and save this and jump back over to my blog post layout. And then let's make this whole thing optional because it may be that I don't have a related post, so I don't want to show all this if it is. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little template string in here, copy this down, and just render this if related posts dot length is greater than zero. If it is, then I will go ahead and return all of this. Now in this case, I don't want it to be blog categories. I want this to be related posts, just like that. 
This would then say the same thing, related uh, posts. And finally, I'm gonna pass in a related post right here and tab to automatically include that. And then inside here, I'll have related posts. Let's just make sure that this is where I want it. Nope, let's put it up top with the rest of the component imports. And there we go. So now I've got related posts right over here. So I do have more than uh, more than one. However, in this case, you can see I haven't done anything with it over here. So now that we've got this coming in, let's actually do something with it. So I want to take my related posts and I want to map over them. And for each post I get, I want to go ahead and return some, some HTML. And here we'll have a div with a class of post. Because this section already has an H2, these all need to be H3s. So we'll do H3 with a class of H4 because I want it to be a little bit smaller. These will then be a link. And I'll point, point to the post.url and then post.frontmatter.title. And I could destructure all these up here, but I don't, I don't think it's that big of a deal because I'm only typing it once or twice. So I can just copy that down. I think that might be just as easy. And I'll take a small tag inside here. We're going to have two things here, both the author and then the formatted date. Now we've done this before in the card, so let's not repeat ourselves and let's just copy it over here. So I'm gonna grab, let's see, author, date, something like that. We'll grab that and drop it in here. And I need to grab this and change this to post.frontmatter.author. And again, if you wanna destructure that, go for it. And then this will be post.frontmatter.date. Now if I save all that, moment of truth, there we go, it pulls up right over here and you can see I've got a title that I can click on. I've also got a link to the the author if I want, and that's pulling it in right here. And then I've got the date it was written. And this should not be the same post as what I'm currently on, and it's not. All right, but if I come over here to like CSS and I read this one, I don't have that because I don't have any other CSS posts. If I come over here to my post one and I change this to CSS, CSS like that, and I refresh this page, I should have this showing up. Now, I think the problem might be actually a problem with what we talked about earlier, which is I need to make sure that these are lowercase. So let's come back over here where we looked at related posts. And here I just need to check that both of these have been uh, two lowercase. And now I think if I come over here and click on CSS, I should have two when I scroll to the bottom, yeah, there they show. All right, so lowercase both of those. There may be another place where I forgot that, but it's not uncommon to run into these little edge cases. So if you find any more, let me know. All right, let me change this back to our, let's see, reference docs. Now we're getting near the end of this project. Next, we're gonna work on a sitemap to make sure that your sitemap reflects your actual pages. That should be a short little video. Then we'll turn our attention to RSS feeds and on from there. All right, I'll catch you in the next video.